Today I'm going to tell you about LED. The full name of LED is called Lighting Emitted Dial. So what is the symbol of Light Emitted Dial? On the schematic usually we will see a dial and then with an arrow it means there are light coming up. <coughs> and they are the polarity, just like a dial. So have positive and negative. So if you connect in the wrong way, the LED will be blow out. It's not like a lamp bulb. The lamp bulb, the symbol is like this. So no matter you put positive here, negative here, or negative here, positive here, the lamp bulb will still be light up. But LED is not. They have polarity. Then why people like LED? It's now very famous. So every weekend you can see LED, Christmas light. Uh, light bulb for your bathroom, for your home, uh, on your fan, or maybe advertisement. So it's very common. So LED use a lot in the industrial and in this year time they have the high intensity. In the old day they don't have high intensity. It means the light is very weak. So people don't like to use LED. So nowadays they have the high intensity. So we can use it for multiple purposes, for panel, very nice color, yeah. red color, green color, blue color, white color, especially in Christmas time. You can see the lights blinking, bing, bing, bing. So it's not the original only yellow color. Nowadays we have multiple colors. About the size of LED, so the smaller one like this one. It is 3 mm. So the next size will be 5. And then the big one like this one will be 10 mm. So it depends on your usage. So you choose the one you want and the color you want. <coughs> so on average, most of the electronics they will have LED just like a power lamp to show the power is on or to show the circuit is working or show the clock is working or maybe even they show the diagnostic which part of the instrument is working or not working so most of the day people will use LED so this is why it's also included in this electronic book and for us because we have polarity so I don't want you to make warm and burn your LED so we will have a multimeter something like this one and we switch to a diode and measure the LED. So the LED, this is a normal intensity, the old day one. So you will see the light is very dim. Then the yellow one, also the same. So it's very dim. Then the red one, I think this one is also a normal one. So this is much better, yes this is 5mm, so the light can be concentrated. And from the side you don't see much, only on the top you can see very bright. Then we go to here, this is the transparent, so when you turn on, wow, you see the white color, very bright red. From the side you can see a little bit. Then come to this blue color, will it be white color or red color? So let us light up. Oh, it's blue color. <laughs> so very nice color. So it can be used on Christmas, like the blue color, red color, and the white color. People widely use for Christmas decoration. So to prevent you from doing one project, I need to tell you the LED has polarity. So when you buy a new one from the shop, you will see the leg, one long, one short, one long, one short. Same as the capacitor. So the long leg is always positive. The short one is negative. So you must make sure you connect properly before the shoulder. If your shoulder is incorrect, it will burn the LED. It cannot be recovered. Okay. 
So most of the time when we want to do LED project, we need to put a resistor before you put the LED. So we have the battery, say it is a live work battery, the positive is here, the negative is here. So the current for the LED is usually 10 mA, VD ampere. So this is a live work battery. So most of the time we will use a 1K resistor. So the current is equal to V over R, right? So V is 9 volt. R is 1K. So the current will be 9 mA. So most of the time LED they work from 10 to 20 mA. 20 is the maximum. It will be very bright and will shorten the line. So I don't expect you to use 20 mA. And you can also use the resistor to adjust the intensity. So this is what we talk about on LED. And I want to let you know is when we buy LED, we don't buy a, from a shop that has a lot of LED in a holder, like a bowl or basket. Something like this mixed together and then you choose the color you want. That is impossible. Because when you do a project, you have multiple LED like this strip. If you have the LED number 2 and number 5, the brightness is less than the other one. You will be very unhappy. Looks like this is an old LED, right? So this is why my usual habit is I buy from the branded one. The branded one and non-branded one, the price is usually not much difference. And the quality is guaranteed. So you buy a packet, something like this one or this one. They come in a packet 25, 50 or 100 or maybe more. Depends on what you want to do. So for industrial, they are in a wheel. But the price is about 10% higher than the normal shop. So I prefer you buy from the branded one. And LED is always used everywhere. So today maybe you use only five pieces or two pieces, but another month you use another five pieces. And the transport, you take a bus, take a taxi to buy. The cost is much higher than the LED. So I prefer you buy from the branded shop. My RS Controller Element 14, blah, 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 all this one, you can buy a very good one. Web shopping and then when you group together in a bucket, they can send to you free of charge. Okay. Let's finish today for the LED. Thank you.